If you were this bride, what will you do? What will you do? Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So obviously you've seen that video of the bride and the groom just wanted to do something for their wedding day and this groom literally pranked her to jump into the pool fully dressed on a wedding dress <laughs> and he didn't jump with her this video has gotten a lot of people talking a lot of people have so much to say about this video i personally i have a lot to say and i know you have a lot to say so go down in the comment section and share your thoughts about what you think about this with that all said let's go hear other people's thoughts then i'll come back and share my thoughts oh. <laughs> of all the days to decide do you want to prank her her wedding day with her wedding dress on all the friends family there you decide to pull a prank on your wedding day the thing about it is i keep seeing videos like this where grooms are humiliating their new wives on their wedding day i remember seeing a video recently where it was this woman and they were about to like do the whole like cake thing feeding the other person cake and the the wife was like please don't smash it in my face like And she's like upset people spend money they actually pay people to do their makeup on their wedding day like it's who wants cake in your nose or in your hair and the photos at a wedding like it's not funny and if you guys remember recently uh a, a couple went viral with this man absolutely humiliating his new bride in his vow i was and always will be one of the easiest people to please only two things are required to keep me happy keep my belly full and my balls empty well, you're amazing at half of it. We really need to get you some cooking lessons. <laughs> what is it with some of these men deciding that their wedding day is the day they want to humiliate their new bride? I feel like there is a part of them that resents the fact that they had to marry you. They, they didn't want to lose you. They didn't want you to leave. They, they knew that it would be over, that you gave them a time frame or something. I feel like their way of getting back at you from making them dress up and making them do this thing is for them to try to humiliate you on that day. I could be, I could be tripping, but stuff like this is not cute. You are too old to think stuff like this is, is funny. Not on the wedding day. Oh. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If the only way you can be funny is at the expense of another person, you're not that funny. Sorry. No, because your future husband, if you try anything like this on our wedding day, I'm leaving. Period, game over, party done, everybody go home. Marriage annulled immediately. This, amongst the many videos I've seen of grooms smashing cakes in their bride's faces is really disheartening. And it's one thing, you know, if couples have that fun loving like jokey style relationship and y'all consent to that happening beforehand great but in most of these videos the wives did not look like they were in on the joke grooms if you don't know that your bride would be extremely upset with you for pulling something like that then you don't know her enough you shouldn't be getting married if you know and you don't care you also shouldn't be getting married you should be going to therapy this reminds me of uh, that video where this guy was talking about how men will be sexually attracted to women but they don't actually like them and this this is how that makes me feel 
Because why, why are you getting mad? That's supposed to be your person, your best friend, and you are perfectly fine with publicly humiliating them on a day that is supposed to be about the two of y'all equally. Let's not talk about the fact that some of y'all will be in the comments just saying, oh, it's just cake, as if she didn't just drop, maybe you drop thousands of dollars doing hair, makeup on a dress that is now all potentially ruined and she's gonna have to walk around sticky for the rest of the night? Come on. Yes, maybe you didn't physically assault her, but come on. Emotionally, absolutely not. Some of y'all wouldn't even disrespect your homeboys like that, but you'll do it to your wives. What is that? What is that? Of all the days to decide, do you want to prank her? Her wedding day. The men who prank their wives on their wedding days are men who are emotionally immature and they don't know how to deal with all the emotions that happen. Oh. Please finish watching her video, but um, she just basically goes to say how men, it seems like lately, are embarrassing their, you know, soon-to-be wives or their wives on their wedding day. And this is a perfect prime example of many that goes to show of what I say and what I will always say, men don't really like women. Listen to what I'm saying men don't really like us it's like just like us genuinely as just human beings they don't and you know we think men are not that smart are we you know no like we really undermine men when it comes to smarts because they be knowing exactly what they be doing okay like we think we don't think i well, i don't want to say uh, women think that but I feel like we tend to think men aren't that smart they're smarter than we think they are trust me like I don't know like the, the the older I get the more I learn how just men work the more I just start to I don't want to say despise them but it's just like I really feel like all men well let me not say all men a lot of men low-key are narcissists because I feel like the most malicious and tense are done behind laughs. Like, oh, haha, ha, so funny. Oh, it's just a joke. Those are the, the most, if, you, if you've ever paid attention to it, the most malicious and tense are done behind a joke or covered up behind a laugh. Think about it. I don't know um, if y'all seen that video, which is in this video, if you go back and watch it, of um, the very last clip that she showed of the bride getting married and he was reading his vows and he was just being very explicit with, you know, what goes on in her bedroom. And it's just like, if she's like, oh, babe, like, stop. It, that's like, huh? I'm sorry, it can never be me. I could never be that in love to where I just don't see. I don't blatantly see, you know, my significant other trying to embarrass me or trying. Come on now, you're not that love blind. Don't get me wrong, I've been love blind before, so I get it, but no. Mm -mm. Like, I don't get how you can write that into your vows in front of your family and friends and really sit there and think that that shit's cute and it's okay. Like, it, hmm? Men are scary and they need to do better. Men need to start correcting other men. Like, for real. Because, mm-mm, not cute. I don't find that funny. I don't. Um, I don't know their relationship, okay? So, I don't know what what their relationship was like leading up to their wedding day. Maybe they prank each other. Um, but I'm just kind of using this as an example because it happened to pop up on my FYP. But I've seen other ones, you know, where men have smashed cake into women's faces violently, um, even after their bride asked them not to. Um, you know, women pay a lot of money to get their hair done and their makeup done. And, um, and, and, and separate from that, if someone asks you not to do something and you still do it and you do it totally against their will and violently, I don't know, that kind of brings up a little red flags for me. There's some underlining issues with these men.
to do that. I don't find, even if this was, you know, uh, this is how their relationship was and they pranked each other, it didn't appear that way here. It, it appeared as though she genuinely thought she was going to be doing something um, with her husband. It's not nice to judge anything right off the top, but whenever I see any these videos where the man is aggressively ramming cake into their bride's face after they ask them not to do it or, you know, really god awful embarrassing vows and this. And actually, I think it's really sad. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, but uh, I'd be keeping my eyes open and uh, an extra separate bank account with a piece of luggage already packed. Just saying. You guys don't know him like I do. He is a really nice person and I love him because he is such a jokester. I love him and I know he loves me. You guys just don't understand his jokes. You guys don't have to worry about me. I think I think his jokes are funny. <laughs> Oh. Watch that full TikTok. It's a great TikTok. Lots of good examples. A lot of men do not like women. They have been conditioned to not like women, to blame them for everything wrong. They like them to sleep with, but they don't like them as people. They've been taught to blame women for everything wrong. And I mean, it's just, that's the way that American uh, or in the West, you know, that's the way that <laughs> a lot of westernized men ain't shit that's not all of them there's a lot of good men but there's a lot that really have been a lot of white uh southern i should say southern men excuse me um so the last wedding i ever went to or will go to because i just won't participate in this anymore i mean it's the passing down of a woman from her father to another man like property um, there's no reason for marriage anymore. It's a horrible thing. But the last wedding I ever went to, I could see very quickly. I hadn't met the groom before that day because, you know, I was always moving around and everything. And I could see how horrible the whole thing was. And I am a very honest person. I'm usually not liked for my honesty. And I couldn't stop myself from asking. It was some silly, you know, weddings are so stupid. I said, how are you going to get your sand back? from the ceremony, this part of the ceremony they were doing. Um, if you see something like that, and that's the problem, people spend all this time planning everything and invest all this money, and there you have, that's when the resentment is really going to spill over. But by that point, are you going to end it? I mean, you've had all these signs leading up to it to not do it. So you, you're going to, you know, but these things like that let you know don't do it you know um immediately I would be that would be it you know somebody ruining my makeup ruining my dress throwing me in a pool and they do it because they secretly hate the woman they resent her they're jealous they don't really like women and it doesn't get any better and there's no helping it. And it would take years of deprogramming to fix. And people are just not clearly in our society still not ready for that conversation. Oh. The amount of rage that I feel towards this is probably slightly, maybe a little bit irrational, but this is literally why the bar is in hell because so many people are going to be defending it. Oh, it's just a prank. Oh, it's just a joke. But clearly she wasn't in on it. So she was the joke. It wasn't the joke. She was the joke. And right now it feels like so many men and women, because I've seen this go for both sides. They just literally treat their spouses like jokes. And it's disgusting. Oh. Immediately no. Immediately no. I just want to let you know, don't let this be your canon event. Any man that's willing to embarrass you, 
uh, at any point in the relationship will just continue to do so. So don't let this be you, period. Oh. Go watch her entire video, obviously. Uh, I have a question. <laughs> For those of you who had cake smashed in your face when you got married, are you still married? Question mark? Because I highly doubt you are. I honestly believe that anybody who had cake smashed in their face are not married today. I would love to be proved wrong. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Dump him. Divorce. Absolutely not. We're all divorcing our husbands if they do this, right? Oh. Leave. Get out of the pool, take off the wedding dress, throw in the trash. And Seriously? You've got to be kidding me. I was going to come on here anyway and say, like, the second a man disrespects you or invalidates something that should never ever be invalidated leave don't waste your time I did I wasted 19 years and here I am 43 and starting over with everything and trying to figure out what I even want in life um, This shit blows my mind. People are always talking about dating advice and do this and do that. And you know what? Just, just find somebody who respects you because Today I found out you can't piss off women more on this app than finding out that there's a man who will execute his right to choose. Especially when it comes to his own body. Oh. That is not funny. The fact that he thinks this is like a hilarious prank to pull on her on her wedding day, um, red flag. Get that in old because that dude is a douchebag. Dishonor. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your cow. Dishonor on your whole family. It's just gross. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts because that's what we do here. We have amazing conversation. So feel free, share your opinion down in the comment section. But please, please, please keep it respectful. You don't have to disrespect anybody for you to air your opinion. Okay, we're always respectful here and we have great conversation in the comment section. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so first off, whew. For me, I feel like immediately I'm just going to file for a divorce, <laughs> like immediately there. I personally, like a lot of people have said is that this is a major, this is a big red flag. I don't care what kind of cockiness or awkwardness that is going on in their relationship. For me and you on our wedding day to plan that, you know what, we're going to jump into the pool and it was time and you didn't jump how can i trust you in life issues when i expect you and we plan we're going to do this together how do i expect you like why should i trust you that you're not going to allow me to jump into it and you won't come along with me it wasn't a funny joke for me, that would that, that's a big trust issue. Like, I'm just going to second guess everything you tell me. I personally, I am an overthinker. I overthink things a lot. So, things like this, I don't think I want to go on with the marriage because every little thing we agree upon, I'm going to second guess it. And once I start second guessing it, like, you might not do it, you might not do it. I might not even give it my 100% because I don't trust you. I don't trust that you will not pull that prank on me again. And I don't want to put myself in that situation where I, I will be the joke. Like you choose me, your wife, to be the joke of the day. On our wedding day. Oh, Lord. 
no. I don't think my heart can take it. No, no. I know some people will say, oh, it's just fun. Some people, you guys should loosen up. It's just fun. You're not in their relationship. I'm not talking, I don't know what kind of relationship they have, but I'm talking about me. <laughs> Whether to be me, or even my sister, or even my friend, I'm giving the man the side eye. I'm giving it the bombastic side eye. Like, there's nothing that man will say out of his mouth that I would trust or believe him he say oh I'll like no if he say oh it's raining outside i'll go and look outside to make sure it's raining that's how bad that trust will be broken you can like the thing is that why would you even do that on your wedding day if you guys agree to do that why didn't you just do it i know we didn't see the other clip maybe later he jumped in my whether he jumped in two seconds later you didn't do it when we said we we're going to do it Big trust issues. I know. I can't know. Mm -mm. Let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. Love to know what you think about this video. But please, please, please keep it respectful. So go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Yeah, on this channel, we're allowed to disagree. Disagreement is normal on this channel. We're family, yeah. We're allowed to disagree, but we don't disrespect each other. We give our different opinion, and that is it. Okay, so. Let's be respectful down in the comment section. Let's agree to disagree. Let's make disagreeing as a unit a thing, okay? With that all said, guys, please don't forget to share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation and somebody that you want to see this video. So share this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up, smash the like button because that helps YouTube to push out my content for more people to see. And that will be you supporting me when you share, comment, um, like, even subscribe, you know, do that. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed. With that all said, guys, I will see you guys in my next video.